Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, it's finally, uh, the snow has melted. Actually, it snowed again last night. It's uh, April 28th here, I think. And uh, yeah, we got probably a couple centimeters of snow last night, inch of snow or something. It's all melted off now, thankfully. But uh, yeah, we're getting ready to uh, mount the windmill. I got all of my vinyl in that I'm gonna do the tail with. Uh, we, we uh, my uh, sign buddy there, Ken, he's got some matte vinyl I got them to get for me and I just got to get up there I've been busy at work so I haven't been around there but uh, we're gonna get some uh, vinyl onto that at some point but for now we're gonna work on uh, where we're gonna put the windmill so uh, up here is uh, a pretty high rock and it's out of the way right now so right up there I'm just gonna leave this it on the stub town we're gonna actually anchor it drill holes in the rock and anchor it up there so that stump's got to move that tree's got to come down and the tree over there to allow it room for pivoting and the rest of them are healthy. I'm not worried about them falling on it. So uh, yeah, we're just going to get them out of the way. But first off, we're going to yank this stump out of the way. So I got the new uh, king quad up there that I picked up there last week, trying to get some hours onto it. And uh, I like it because other king quad doesn't have the best tires on it they still hold air and stuff and for what i do it's it's fine but uh, this thing is really good for pulling because it's got those brand new mud lights on it so i got a strap attached to here we're gonna hook another one up and then we're gonna yank this thing out of here then we gotta rake this away there's bedrock right there just covered in some dirt and stuff we're just gonna rake this away get that cut down and then we're gonna get the windmill out here and drill some holes and get her set up. All right, we're just unbolting this from the stand right now, getting it ready to go outside. We're gonna try and just carry it. It's gonna go right up there on that rock. I cleaned it all off last night. So it'll go up there and uh, we'll drill her into the rock and hopefully it all goes well. Just waiting for uh, the rock drill to come out. We're just balancing it off the side. We marked the holes and uh, we're just going to drill into the rock here and hopefully everything lines up and we can get this thing folded down.
All right, guys, so we're up now. As you can see, we uh, got everything bolted down there. Uh, it all looks good there. We shimmed a little bit to get it level. It's a little off, but I mean, it's pretty good for up here. So we got six anchor bolts in there. And then over here, I just drilled some more for my uh, pull-out lever there so I can rig something up there for with a winch. All right guys, so as you can see, we uh, drilled some holes in the rock. I didn't get a bunch of it on film because uh, it was kind of tense out here in the wind. We were holding it and stuff and getting it up. It was a little bit difficult and I didn't have my tripod earlier. So anyways, it's up now and uh, everything's anchored in. Every I just snugged up all the bolts, went around, double knotted everything like it was and uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. It's up and running and it's functional, but uh, the only thing we got to do is just get the lettering on the tail there on the vein. Uh, my buddy Ken has the vinyl in right now and uh, he's. we just got to go over there and cut it. I got all the measurements for everything. Uh, I just got to get over to his place and get it cut and we'll get it on. So, uh, as you can see, there's some oil all over the place. I. Uh, overfilled it but I just I wasn't sure where it would go and this rock isn't perfectly level so it tilts a bit more the one way and I mean I'm not using it to pump it's just on display so that didn't matter but uh, yeah it's uh, it ran out a bit so I just had to I suck some out but yeah everything's good I'm gonna go around with the trim clad aluminum paint and just brush on to all the spots where I bolted it together and uh, because I, I chipped the paint off and I don't want it to rust. So yeah, but otherwise it's blown like a good fell on the wind here. The brake works and everything and I'm really happy with everything. Uh, for now I just put two two pins in here with just a ratchet strap for my pull out lever. Uh, I just used a clamp, a piece of angle iron and a clamp and bolted it to the rock. And then I just bolted that there with an old prop nut from a boat or a prop spacer I should say. So anyways, it's, uh, it's all together and this is by far easier than having concrete around and having to pour concrete, sl that's awesome. So anyways, that's her. I'll uh, make another update video here in a while about how, it is, how it's been running and stuff. Uh, this is just the first day for it up and it's getting a good workout. As you can see, the it's still got a good twist in the blades there. Uh, because that one arm's bent. I'm just waiting for my torches to come in still. They're being shipped and uh, they've been taking quite a while so hopefully uh, they come in soon and I can heat up that one spoke and get it running. But as you can see it's running really well and I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna shut it off for the night before I go home and or go to town and yeah here she is. So for everybody that's been uh, watching my whole uh, BD windmill restoration. Here it is, and thanks for watching. I appreciate all the subscriptions as everybody's given me. And uh, check out my other videos if this is the first one that you've seen. And you can see me take that thing from rust to what it is now. So uh, please check it out and give me a subscribe if, if you haven't yet. Thanks guys. As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. 
If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.